A special day, dignity restored. Ray Machas is unemployed and wheelchair bound. Her living circumstances were less than ideal, but all that changed. Uh, thank you for the house. It's out. It's beautiful. Bye. Thank you very much. Are you happy with the house? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. And I'm very happy for my, my room. Thank you. The weather are cool. I am so happy with my new house. I have been living in a shack, but things have changed now. Thanks to the government, I am so pleased. It belongs to me officially. The beneficiaries were also handed the title deeds to their new homes. The government set aside 35.6 million rand for the Peltras housing project, and 198 houses have been completed. Similar housing projects are also standing in other towns, including Kumbu, Tsomo, and Matatiele. These are the last houses in this project of 220, and these are the houses for people that are living with disabilities. And as the department, we've said we are reprioritizing, we're starting with people, with older people, because we can't, as government, have older people that do not have houses. We have to instill back their um, dignity. They must have their own homes. The Department of Human Settlements allocated 1.6 billion rands to build low-cost houses in the Eastern Cape. The application for a housing subsidy of 70,000 applicants have also been approved. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Jeffreys Bay in the Eastern Cape.